That's right, microchipped. In 2005, Congress, under the pretense of immigration control and the so-called war on terrorism, passed the Real ID Act, under which it is projected by May 2008, you will be required to carry around a federal identification card, which includes on it a scannable barcode with your personal information. However, this barcode is only an intermediary step before the card is equipped with a Verichip RFID tracking module, which will use radio frequencies to track your every move on the planet. If this sounds foreign to you, please note that the RFID tracking chip is already in all new American passports. And the final step is the implanted chip, which many people have already been manipulated into accepting under different pretenses. We have a Florida family who are really pioneers in a brave new world. They have volunteered to be the first ever to have microchip identification devices implanted into their body. After 9-11, I was really concerned um, with the security of my family. I wouldn't mind having something planted permanently in my arm that would identify me. In the end, everybody will be locked into a monitored control grid where every single action you perform is documented. And if you get out of line, they can just turn off your chip, for at that point in time, every single aspect of society will revolve around interactions with the chips. This is the picture that is painted for the future if you open your eyes to see it. A centralized one world economy where everyone's moves and everyone's transactions are tracked and monitored, all rights removed. The most incredible aspect. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh, that's the correct name of the Heavenly Father, the Almighty, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, who this world ignorant calls God, and Yahweh Shah, that's the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ. Also, I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, 144,000 men that's going out to the highways and byways that's pushing the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai throughout the four corners of the earth, Shalom, and also Shalom to the one third of Israel, which consists of the men, women, and children that might be listening in all truth and sincerity, Shalom. All right, so this is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse, in verse 12, it reads, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? All right, let's talk about Esau. All right, Esau Edom, which is known as um, aka the so called white people. All right, you know, they weakened the nations. All right, with their philosophies. All right, you know, you got you got um, all these other nations. All right, following after the ways of Esau. All right, verse 13 For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. All right. And this is how this is how Esau Edom thinks. All right. You know, they you know, um, this is why they want to bring that RFID chip. All right. Because Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. They have a God complex. All right. They want to be like the Most High. All right. Verse 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. You see? All right. You know, so they, these devils, all right, they want you to get that RFID chip. All right. You know, not want you to get it. All right. They're going to make it mandatory. All right. For the, for the, uh, for everybody on the face of this earth to receive that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast that the Bible speaks about in the revelations. And we're going to get that. All right. But. All right, these Edomites, you know, they have a God complex. All right, they will, um, this RFID chip, like the video said, all right, it'll be able to track you. All right, it'll be able to shut you off if you're not um, abiding to abiding to, to their laws. All right, Esau, Edom, they want you to um, abide to their laws. Like, you know, um, they, they want you to abide by their laws. All right, um, get the RFID chip. All right, so, so, they, so they're able to track you. All right. You know, they're able to uh, to see what you're doing at all times. All right. And, um, you know, in this RFID chip, all right, you know, this coronavirus, you know, it could be the start of the RFID chip because I was watching the, um, the elder um, um, Salaki. I was watching the Apostle Gabar's uh, video um, this morning and he was talking about, um, you know, 
the RFID chip can be made mandatory, all right, because the, the paper money that we have, all right, you know, that's going to con contract the RFID, um, like that's going to contract the coronavirus, all right, because you got people, because the money is dirty, all right, you got the money going from one hand to the other, all right, and, and that could spread the coronavirus, so, you know, this coronavirus can be, you know, it could be the reason why they make this RFID chip mandatory. All right, so this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse, I'll start at 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor. All right, he said he got causes all. All right, you know, so it don't matter if you're a so-called white man. It don't matter if you're a so-called Edomite. All right, it don't matter what nation, what nation you are. All right, it says so. He calls it all, both small and great. All right, so it don't matter, you know, how much money you have. All right, it don't matter if you a bum on the corner. All right, or if you um, you know, if you Oprah Winfrey. All right, you know, he's gonna cause it all, both small and great. It says rich and poor. All right, free and bond. Okay, so it don't matter if you in jail. All right, it don't matter if you um. It don't matter if you're in jail. It don't matter if you're so-called free in this society. All right, he's going to cause it all both small and great. All right, and these, these inmates, all right, you, in, in California, um, you already got inmates being released because they're taking an RFID chip. All right, and it says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So it literally don't have to be in your right hand. All right, you can take that RFID chip in your left hand. You can take it in your, in, in, in your leg. All right, or you, your forehead. All right, if you take this RFID chip, all right, you telling you telling you how about Shima all right, that that Esau is your god. You worship Esau now. All right, and it's verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell save he that hath the mark. So it's gonna come a time when you're not gonna be able to um, work. All right, because your job is it's gonna be required if you wanna um, if you wanna continue working at this job. That, that you got to take this RFID chip because the RFID chip, that's going to be the new currency of money, all right? No more cash, no more debit cards, all right? The RFID chip. So your direct deposit going to come on that RFID chip, all right? You know, the RFID chip be able to scan your medical history, all right? And it says, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Oh, Salakia. Salakia, so like Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right? All right? And this is uh, Revelation chapter 14 and verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, if any man get the RFID chip, all right, and make um, Esau, the so-called white man, your God, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, all right, this is going to be the punishment. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashimah was shy, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. All right, so you 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 gonna get uh, you, you gonna get burnt the fuck up. All right, in front of these, in front of the angels. All right, and it says in the presence of the Lamb. All right, that's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the Lamb. All right, so this this is the punishment if you receive that RFID chip. All right, and that and it's gonna come that time. All right, um, the the when it's gonna be a, it's gonna come a time when when that RFID chip is made mandatory. All right, and who are you gonna who are you gonna put your trust in Esau? All right, or are you gonna put your trust in your Howard Bashimah was shot? Are you gonna get the RFID chip to feed your family? All right, are you gonna get the RFID chip so you can get um so you can continue working? All right, being a um so you can continue working. All right, chasing that American dream, or are you gonna put your trust in your Howard Bashimah was shot? All right, and it says verse eleven, and the smoke of that torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. All right. So the Lord is going, you know, the, the, the Lord can leave your spirit. Um, can leave your spirit um, 
in 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 that fire, man. All right, it 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 it, it can feel like you in that um that you getting burnt up. All right, for days. All right, the Lord can leave your spirit, you know, in there. All right, and you know this is gonna be a time, man. All right, it's gonna be a time when that RFID chip is made mandatory. All right, and that video, all right, it it, it tells you that the, that's the um, elite's plan. All right, and you know, um, there has been accounts where where people where people have took the RFID chip. All right, and and they literally said, um, you know, they get no rest. All right, it, it feels like a constant burn. All right, man, this RFID chip is real, man. All right, and you know that RFID chip can be made mandatory. All right, this year. All right, Lord willing to do. All right, but it can. All right, this coronavirus can be the um can be the cause of that um RFID chip. All right, so you know that's it on this lesson. Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the correct name of the Heavenly Father, the Almighty, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, who this world even calls God, and Yahweh Shai. That's his only begotten son, who the world even called Jesus Christ. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right, Lord willing, to the next lesson, I'm gonna say Shalom.